What's up? Chances are if you click this, you want to learn how to front raise, and I'm going to teach you. Let's get right into it and not waste any time. So the benefit of the front raise is going to mimic the lateral raise. So lateral raise, you're raising laterally and working that lateral head. So your deltoid has three heads. You have anterior, lateral, posterior, right? So posterior is known as a rear delt. It's going to be kind of your pulling backward motions, things like this. Uh, lateral is going to be any lateral movement. And then usually your anterior will be involved in a pressing movement or a front raising movement. You're also going to sneak in a little bit of a lateral kind of lift here, but a lot of people really swear by um, anterior lifts. Um, I know there's some major bodybuilders out there. Here's just a few that you can see that really, really are a fan of it because they find you get some amazing stimulus. A lot of people will say, you know, shoulder press is all you need, but I like to mix some of these in. I find it gives me a really good contraction. It kind of builds that front delt super nice. So what you're going to do, it's going to be very similar to a lower raise. You're going to squeeze your abs, squeeze your glutes, get a good center of core. Right, you're going to have your arms dead straight. You're going to raise up and squeeze that into your head. So what we don't want to do is raise too high, where we're just going to pop it up, put a lot of the tension on our trap. And we don't want to not raise it high enough where we don't get a full contraction of that anterior head. So what that's going to look like is your arms are pretty much dead straight. You're squeezing into your abs, raising right up to just about here. I like my hand just to be a little bit above that shoulder. I find that's a perfect place of contraction for me. Experiment with it and try squeezing squeezing that shoulder, raise it up with control, come down with control where the shoulder's still engaged. I like to stop right here, raise it back up. Now, if you're really tired and you wanna do full resets, you can. I like to keep tension on the muscle. So it's gonna look like this, super quick. It's not a super complicated one, you just wanna make sure you're executing it properly. So I'm raising it up with some squeeze, coming down with control. I like to keep tension on that into your head. Lift it up, squeeze, down, up, squeeze. What we don't wanna be doing, we're gonna show you now. Uh, I find it's a lot easier to understand how to do a movement if you know how not to do it. So we're gonna show you three common mistakes we see, how to avoid them, then you'll be pros. And number one common mistake is not keeping proper tension. People will pick up the dumbbells and start swinging away, turning it into more of a lateral raise. If you wanna do lateral raises, keep it out to the side and do that and actually focus on that. But we're here to do front raises and really focus on the front part of your shoulder. So grab the dumbbells, control it up, control it down, and really keep those arms straight out in front of you for maximum gains. Next up is controlling your point of stability. So a lot of people, because they'll get sloppy with these, and they'll do this for a lot of exercise. So if you're doing this, you definitely don't want to stop. Uh, you don't want your stability to be on your lower spine, just leaning back, kind of hinging on that spine. That is not a strong place, there's not a ton of muscle there, and that's where you're gonna get lower back pain. Instead, learn to squeeze and engage your abs as you do an exercise. So if I were to punch you, you know, you're bracing tight, keeping that control, standing up straight, and this way I can do the raise without completely heaving onto my lower back, swinging away, and just causing lower back pain. And it's something easy that you can kind of slip up and not realize you're doing. And this is something that will kind of occur to everything, even dumbbell curls, anything like that. Keep your point of stability as your abs, that's why they call it your core, it's your baseline, it's your kind of control mechanism to keep you up strong. Another good thing you can do is squeeze your butt and you can see I have a lot of control in my torso here, I can perform the exercise optimally. So last but not least is just kind of taking care of your shoulder. Your shoulder's a ball and socket joint. It means it can move many unique ways. So that's why we do all these crazy kind of variants to really grow them. Uh, it's a tougher muscle to grow. It's a small muscle, but you can really thrash them. Saying so, you wanna be careful. So some people will do them with their knuckles facing in like this. And yes, you'll get a ton of engagement on that into your head. But you can, I find personally, you can put a lot of stress on that um, shoulder joint right here. And that's not what you want at all. If you have it inward and there's a lot of strain on that with some assisted weight and you go too heavy, you're asking for an injury. So I recommend just keeping them pretty much dead straight, really listening to that shoulder. Um, the only exception to the Kyle's first mistake is if you have a lot of shoulder pain, make sure you can do these optimally. If it hurts, I would just avoid them altogether or do it with a little bit more support from that lateral delt. So that's how you can control the tension is with rotation of your grip and that's kind of gonna switch tension. The more backwards you go, you can see the more I'm gonna engage that rear delt. So this is something you can manipulate and change and just something to be aware of while doing this exercise. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to click that first link in the description for a free form guide. It's 30 plus exercises that you can keep in your pocket and check in the gym. We'll also send you a bunch of other free gifts to your email. So make sure to click that first link, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace out.